This is Tank's Vlog, June 28, 2019. Wrapping up the day in sports. I watched the Mets today to see if they can win. I focus on the pain knowing that they're gonna lose this game. The bullpen rips your heart out each and every day. They blow it all away. They can't do anything that's right. What is this team become? A surreal nightmare. Everyone on the team begins to suck in the end. And you can watch them melt down each and every night. They will let you down. They will make you hurt. I watched this clown of a manager sitting with a bunch of lies each night. The GM's broken promises. The team's fucked up beyond repair. Beneath it all is an owner that just steals money from fans. I wish I could root for someone else. But somehow, I'm stuck with this fucking team. What have the Mets become? A surreal nightmare. Everyone on the team begins to suck in the end. And no one is here that's good. A dumpster fire. They will let you down. They will make it hurt. And if I could start again, I'd root for the Yankees. I would keep myself sane. I would find a way to not live this nightmare. What else can be said about this fucking surreal nightmare? This fucking GM who fucked this team real well. You really fucking judge the goddamn motherfucking chicken of the bitch. You broke the fellow punk. But this...
From the Will Ponds down to the fucking back, boy, everyone needs to go. Except for three people. Alfonso! Alonso should say. McNeil! DeGrom! Everyone else! To the fucking dumpster! Are you kidding me with this loss? Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Seriously, are you kidding me? First off, after blowing Sunday's game, blowing Tuesday's game, blowing Wednesday's game, and now we blow Thursday's game, of course Thursday, was a good pitcher's duel. Zach Wheeler, Aaron Nola. Mets down one nothing, looking dead and dead. And then they get a home run. Todd Frazier clutch moment of the year so far with that homer. They get an extra run and then two batters! Two batters is all that took for that motherfucking Edwin who's the Andrews. You suck! You suck! You suck! You suck! You suck! And lose Diaz, worst fucking reliever the Mets have ever had. Armando Benitez, fuck! Armando Benitez is Mariano Rivera compared to Ed Luz Diaz. Two batters, two batters. Walk, homer, boom. Walk, homer, boom. And then motherfucking Mickey keeps him in the game. Of course, what hell? And then after the game, he was electric third Wednesday. Fucking kids him out fucking Wednesday. You took him out of the game, you fucking moron. I wanna. He was electric Wednesday. I don't know what happened Thursday. He has no fucking feel for anything that goes in the game. He's he's just fed this fucking computer. Analytic, 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 analytic. The Mets will run like better. Run like a fucking robot. Just fucking program the computer in. Never mind. Never makes any changes. Never watch the game. Get a fucking feel. Get any of some clear fucking heart. He has no fucking heart. He's a fucking heartless bunch of shit. Because by the fucking manager. How can they go on the field Friday night with him as a fucking manager? He has no fucking feel for the game. I understand he might be getting these marching orders from fucking Brody, who's a fucking con man, a fucking joke. Come get us! Come get us! Yeah, we, we got got! Where, where, where are you? What are you doing to things to make this thing better? Where are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing? You just smile. <laughs> monorail. You can get it, but the monorail. Jared Kalelnik is going to be one of the greatest hitters of all time. And meanwhile, this this trade uh, and, and and Robinson Cano four for his last forty and uh, Mickey Calloway. He's coming around. He is not coming around. He sucks. Uh, does, does Mickey Calloway actually believe the bullshit he's pushing? Does he actually fucking believe the bullshit that that Mick that fucking Brody goddamn fucking Conan Snake Oil Wagonin is telling him this is out there to go? Motherfucker!
I mean, Jesus, Mary, and fucking goddamn mother, to put the goddamn mother, shit, could not fucking get the butt. I want everyone to either to come out and sing "Bringing in the Heartbreak" every time a reliever comes in. That should be played. No more announcers. No more Gary Cohn. No more Keith Hernandez, no more Ron Darling. Just play Death Leopard when the Mets are leaving come in. Because that's all you fucking need is that song. Bring it in the heartache. Oh, we're bringing on the heartbreak. Can't you see? Mickey can't see it, but can't you see that no one on this team can pick... Unreal. Un fucking real. Joey Gallo hit a pair of homers. Rangers beat the Tigers three to one. Rays in a eighteen inning marathon. Rally with three runs in the eighteenth to beat the twins five to two. Astros, wow, what's happened to the Astros? Ice cold. Lost again. Josh Bell homered. Pirates 10 nothing winners at Minute Maid Park. It was the Brewers with a home run by Orlando Arcia beating the Mariners 4 2. Cubs over the Braves 9 7. And looky dee, look at that. Craig Kimbrough came out. Shut down the fucking Braves. No, we don't need them. Oh, we're going to call them. Yeah, Greg, uh, are you watching the uh, Stanley Cup playoffs? <laughs> Why the fuck didn't the Mets sign him? Can someone explain one good fucking reason why K. Crimble wasn't signed by the Mets? We saw the bullpen sucking. We saw Familia on the effective. We see that Edwin Diaz is a fucking flash in the pan. Failure. Horrible closer. He sucks. And Luis Diaz is terrible. But nope. Didn't sign him. Juan Soto and Victor Robles homered as the Na Marlin Nationals beat the Marlins 8-5. to five. It was Taylor Muncy. Chris Taylor and Max Muncy. Getting big hits as the Dodgers continue just to just bludgeon the Rockies. I mean, the Rockies, the Rockies might as well just not even show up at this point. The way they lose, they just the Dodgers just continue to beat them. And this is in Coors Field, beginning a four-game series. Ouch. After uh, This is after last week, and with the Dodgers winning three straight games with walk-off wins. Once again, it was the ninth inning, four runs. Ay. It was the Diamondbacks, 5-1 winners over the Giants. And Shohei Otoni, Cole Calhoun, each hit home runs as the Angels beat the A's 8-3. Aaron Nola, with his one hit over seven innings against the Mets, is the top star. Miguel Rojas had... Uh, uh, went four for five in a losing effort for the Marlins. And Joey Gallo with those two home runs for the Rangers. Birthday shout out today. Let's go with John Elway, 59. And we take a look back to 1994 when Dwight Gooden's the career at the Mets came to an end as he was suspended for drugs. And uh, he'd later get a year suspension be spent the entire 1995 season. By the time his suspension is over, his contract is out ended, and he was the last member of the 86 Mets to depart. <sighs> Unfucking real. This, this, yeah. You, 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 you couldn't make up what's going on with the Mets right now. You just couldn't make it up. Good day.